The city of Pompeii was founded in the 7th or 6th century BC by the Oscans, a group of ancient Italian people. The city's location, near the mouth of the Sarno River and the Bay of Naples, made it an important center for trade and commerce. In the 4th century BC, Pompeii was conquered by the Samnites, a powerful Italic tribe. Later, in the 3rd century BC, the Romans took control of Pompeii and made it a part of their expanding empire. Under Roman rule, Pompeii prospered. The city became an important center of agriculture, producing wine, olive oil, and other crops. It also became a popular destination for wealthy Romans, who built luxurious villas in the surrounding countryside. In the 1st century AD, the city was home to around 11,000 people and boasted a number of public buildings, including a forum, a basilica, and an amphitheater. Pompeii's Early History The city of Pompeii was founded in the 7th or 6th century BC by the Oscans, a group of ancient Italian people. The city's location, near the mouth of the Sarno River and the Bay of Naples, made it an important center for trade and commerce. In the 4th century BC, Pompeii was conquered by the Samnites, a powerful Italic tribe. Later, in the 3rd century BC, the Romans took control of Pompeii and made it a part of their expanding empire. Under Roman rule, Pompeii prospered. The city became an important center of agriculture, producing wine, olive oil, and other crops. It also became a popular destination for wealthy Romans, who built luxurious villas in the surrounding countryside. In the 1st century AD, the city was home to around 11,000 people and boasted a number of public buildings, including a forum, a basilica, and an amphitheater. The Vesuvius Eruption On the morning of August 24, 79 AD, Mount Vesuvius erupted. The eruption was one of the most violent in history, spewing ash, pumice, and toxic gases into the air. The plume of ash and gas rose to a height of over 20 miles, and the falling ash and pumice buried the surrounding area in a matter of hours. Pompeii was hit particularly hard by the eruption. The city was located just five miles from the volcano, and the falling ash and pumice buried the city under a layer of debris that was up to 20 feet deep in some places. Many of the buildings in the city collapsed under the weight of the ash and pumice, and the streets were filled with debris. The people of Pompeii were caught off guard by the eruption. Although Mount Vesuvius was an active volcano, there had been no major eruptions in the area for centuries, and the people of Pompeii had no experience with such a disaster. As a result, many of the city's residents were unprepared for the eruption and had no chance to escape. The Vesuvius Eruption On the morning of August 24, 79 AD, Mount Vesuvius erupted. The eruption was one of the most violent in history, spewing ash, pumice, and toxic gases into the air. The plume of ash and gas rose to a height of over 20 miles, and the falling ash and pumice buried the surrounding area in a matter of hours. Pompeii was hit particularly hard by the eruption. The city was located just five miles from the volcano, and the falling ash and pumice buried the city under a layer of debris that was up to 20 feet deep in some places. Many of the buildings in the city collapsed under the weight of the ash and pumice, and the streets were filled with debris. The people of Pompeii were caught off guard by the eruption. Although Mount Vesuvius was an active volcano, there had been no major eruptions in the area for centuries, and the people of Pompeii had no experience with such a disaster. As a result, many of the city's residents were unprepared for the eruption and had no chance to escape. Survivors and Recovery Despite the devastation, some people managed to survive the eruption. Those who were able to flee the city before the ash and pumice buried it were able to escape with their lives. Others sought refuge in the city's public buildings, hoping to wait out the disaster. In the days and weeks following the eruption, rescue efforts were mounted to try to save any survivors who might still be trapped under the debris. However, the sheer scale of the disaster made the task almost impossible. The city was buried under a thick layer of ash and pumice, and the rescuers had to dig through it with shovels and pickaxes. In the end, the rescue efforts were largely unsuccessful. Most of the people who had been caught in the eruption perished, and the city of Pompeii was left abandoned and forgotten. Pompeii, the ancient Roman city that was buried under volcanic ash and pumice by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD, remained largely forgotten for over 1,600 years. However, in the 18th century, the ruins of Pompeii were rediscovered and excavated, revealing a remarkable glimpse into the daily life of the ancient Romans. 
The Rediscovery of Pompeii The rediscovery of Pompeii began in 1748 when a group of workers digging a new channel in the town of Portici, near Naples, stumbled upon the ruins of an ancient building. The workers quickly realized that they had uncovered something significant and notified the local authorities. The discovery of the ruins generated considerable interest among scholars and intellectuals of the time, and soon a team of archaeologists was dispatched to investigate the site. The team was led by Ruck Joaquin de Alcabier, a Spanish engineer who had been working on the construction of a new aqueduct in the area. Over the course of the next few years, Alcabier and his team uncovered several more ruins, including the Forum, the Amphitheater, and the House of the Fawn. They also found a number of well-preserved frescoes, mosaics, and sculptures. The Vesuvius Eruption On the morning of August 24, 79 AD, the residents of Pompeii awoke to a loud rumbling sound coming from Mount Vesuvius. At first, they were not overly concerned, as the volcano had been dormant for centuries. However, as the day wore on, the eruption became more and more violent. Ash and pumice began to rain down on the city, and the sky turned dark. As the eruption continued, the ash and pumice built up in the streets, burying everything in their path. By the time the eruption had ended, the city of Pompeii was buried under up to 20 feet of ash and pumice. The Tragedy of Pompeii The Vesuvius eruption was a tragedy of immense proportions. It is estimated that over 16,000 people died in the disaster, including residents of Pompeii and the neighboring cities of Herculaneum and Stabiae. The exact number of victims is unknown, as many of the bodies were destroyed by the intense heat of the eruption. The people of Pompeii were caught completely unaware by the eruption. There was no warning of the impending disaster, and many residents were unable to escape in time. The city was buried so quickly and completely that it was essentially forgotten for centuries. Pompeii remained buried under the ash and pumice of the Vesuvius eruption for over 1,600 years, until it was rediscovered in 1748. The discovery of Pompeii generated considerable interest among scholars and intellectuals of the time, and soon a team of archaeologists was dispatched to investigate the site. Over the course of the next few years, the team uncovered several more ruins, including the Forum, the Amphitheater, and the House of the Fawn. They also found a number of well-preserved frescoes, mosaics, and sculptures.